Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's your man Destroy Ninja with another update on what we've been doing over here on Skull and Bones. So basically this week I've gone and got the Blue Spectre Flamethrower. So I had it for a little while now and I put it on the Sandbook ship. I've been testing it out for a couple days now and what I've found is you buy it from the manager of La Pompe for 5,000 gold. So it's not cheap, you also need the gold to upgrade your bases. So it was a bit of an investment. It does have pretty good stats on it. Um, basically it does allow you to set ships ablaze from up to 150 meters away and that sort of thing um, it deals 5,000 burning damage as well when you set them ablaze as well as to it sets enemies ablaze within 150 meters around it too so here it is being built so I've spent out I've lashed out the 5,000 gold and I thought I'd show you what it's like I actually thought it would be disappointing so I put the blue spectre seafire on as it's 120 compared to the other C53 flamethrower. So this one shoots blue stuff, adds 30% of burning damage, superheated deals increased damage when focusing attacks on the same target. So as long as you hold the button down for ages on him, you get the job done. I'll show you what I mean. Anyway, I put the demi cannons on it with it. These increase the charge rate of vulnerable effect by 50% and add 20% of damage. Furthermore, as burning damage. So we're really going to set him on fire with these two weapons. The other weapons are explosive three, which adds 30% of damage as explosive damage in a 40 meter radius. The good thing about these data analysis is they've been buffed this season. 130 damage and they add explosive damage. So this is a blast as well. This one, the Laflu. I'd recommend this one. Adds 15% of damage as explosive damage in a 50 meter blast radius. If you put the elemental effect um, sort of thing with it or the Leopold 3 here that's sort of similar but you can actually really do damage with the combined weapons around the ship so if you he gets away from the flamethrower up front you've got the shotgun on the side or the bombard on the other side for longer range later so you know you swivel around to the guns positions and that sort of thing more effectively when you run the flamethrower so here I am putting on the blazing furnace uh, which actually increases as they say there's just a quick couple of perks volatile fuel double plated hulk uh, I probably would have went elemental damage build up as well um, but yeah basically here it is in action so I've taken this particular ship put the flamethrower on it and basically just getting stuck into this particular ship over here at the moment with it as you've seen it's pretty on fire from one quick run so one or two bombards or anything will quickly finish that off as you see it's burning it up over there so just one quick bullet to finish him off there after doing a run on these uh, pesky pirates so as you've seen there's some toxic pirates have added to the game and they've been really annoying everyone so here I am taking revenge I'm actually burning them I realized it's more of a rusher sort of tool so you basically just charge at them brace for impact smash into them and basically just flame them with your whole clip as you see he's already on fire so now any shotgun damage I do it's building up the fire and then if I spin around and hit him with the bombard on the back or throw these fire bombs at him which this ship comes equipped with so it's one of the few ships that you can fire bomb with and as you see they do it drill the damage into him then the bombard with him on fire fire bombed it builds up explosive damage it's a perfect all-round elemental combo on these pirate ships so next up I'll be aiming to put the Lapotence blueprint on as well to reveal the weak spots on these ships so until then I hope um, if any viewers want to sell it to me for I'll offer a hundred thousand silver to the first viewer with that weapon uh, with that actual blueprint the Lapotence um, so that I can do more damage to these ships as they're so annoying for me so at the moment I'm doing the rounds on the gold and I'm getting really pestered by a lot of fleets so at spawn there I usually just go across the river and collect my gold and then go back to base and I've got a level 10 base there at the moment so I usually get quite a bit from just going across the river and back but this time there was all these ships in the way and everything so I was just on there trying to get my gold and I got absolutely hassled so because of getting so hassled this season one by these toxic pirates I've decided to up my game I'm gonna start ramming them burning them then spinning around and exploding them so here I am again going in at another these are a little bit lower level um, toxic pirates only level nines but as you see the damage is insane on this weapon so one clip has killed that one and it's also set him on fire to the death there as you see he's in ashes uh, it's a real burner of a weapon uh, as you see toxic burning damage and then another shotgun there just to finish that guy I reckon up, he's taken one more, he's going to take one more that one, so they are relatively strong still, um, especially if you don't put the 
the potent actual blueprint on the hull of your ship before you go out like I showed you with the other sort of damaging effects you can put on your ship which also that build that up and so ideally you want a level 12 ship with this so the weapons and setup you've seen on this ship today have allowed it to go to level 12 uh, which is why it's probably surviving a lot of these huge attacks so here's us actually doing a plunder at the moment two of us went over and had a bit of a crack at a fort. There was a lot of ships. I started practicing with the flamethrower on these guys a little bit earlier in between pirate attacks and I've got to admit the actual, actual flamethrower damage is insane from the blue spectre so it gets two thumbs up from me. It gets this ship, the sample, gets the official destroy thumb of approval. I like it a lot. It's also pretty fast. A little weaker than I'd like but other than that till next time.